Hi, this is Steve. Welcome to the American Garage. Today, we're going to take a minute and talk about stuccoing a building. Now, I watched several videos from uh, Kirk Giordano at Kirk Giordano Plastering to learn how to do this because I've never done it before. So, let's see how it goes. This will be my first time. But you know what? It's been my first time at a lot of things. I never uh, restrung a piano before I did it the first time. I never uh, rebuilt an engine before I did it for the first time. So let's see how it goes. Of course, I want the best look on my building, so I want the Santa Barbara smooth, which is the hardest thing to do. But let's see if we can do it. So tag along with me and let's see how it goes. description below I'm going to put a link to Kirk Giordano plastering and uh, I must have watched a hundred of his videos to learn how to do this. So I want to give a shout out to Kirk and go out and look at some of his videos even if you're not going to be doing any stuccoing. He's a great guy, knows what he's doing. So I watched several of his videos. He said, don't, don't go down, he said. So you try it once, you go down and it all falls. You work up, like Kirk says. So you may be wondering why I'm doing stucco and not something else. Well, my office is at the airport. And at the airport, airport, glorious days of, of aviation were in the, the, the Art Deco era. So I want my office to look kind of Art Deco from the glory days of aviation. For those of you who don't know, I also fly airplanes. Now I'm not doing my normal production, I don't have my good microphone. Because we're just doing this real quick so you can see it. watching Kirk, here's what we're going to do. We're doing what's called the scratch coat first, which should be about three-eighths of an inch thick over the wire. And then we'll scratch it and let it dry. That's why they call it the scratch coat. Second coat they call the brown coat. I don't know why they call it brown coat, but they do. The brown coat will go on next after it's dried for a couple of days. And then we'll put the finish coat on. That's where I'm going to try to do my Santa Barbara smooth finish. We'll see if it works out. Anyway, I'm going to keep going here. Notice that Kirk was using a trowel, a pool trowel, which is rounded on the ends, but I couldn't find one. So I used the next best thing. I found a stainless steel one. Uh, they say that if it's not stainless steel, if it's regular metal, it'll rust and then it might put stains into the, the, the stucco. So I got a stainless steel one. Anyway, it's going pretty good. I've uh, been playing around with the mixture levels and the goopiness and, and dryness of the, of the stucco. Seems to be going pretty good.
Okay, so we've got the scratch coat on the building. Now, uh, the problem that I had with it so far was that I was doing it myself, all by myself, and I had to stop because I got too tired, took too long, got to the end of the day, actually took me four solid days to put the scratch coat on. So we got little seams that show uh, in where I stopped and then started again. That's not going to be good for the final finish. So, you know, after watching a little bit more Kirk on there, I saw that he had lots of people. So we're going to get some friends and some people out here to help me out so that when we put the brown coat on, it's going to all be consistent. Now, uh, I wanted to back up and tell you what we've got going on underneath this stucco. Uh, so I wanted to give a shout out to Matt Reisinger, uh, and he's a, a construction expert, and he said that you have to have a, a air barrier underneath the stucco to protect the structure. So uh, I went and got some, some air barrier. Let me show you. So what we have underneath all of this stucco is first we have a layer of this, this air barrier. This air barrier stands up and it has uh, like a structure to it so that it keeps the stucco away from the actual wall itself. And it's got this, this fiber mesh on top to keep the stucco from soaking through. So this is underneath everything. And then on top of this, we have our, our metal lath. And we use this kind of metal lath because, well, that's what they had available at the stucco supply store here in the Houston area. So we've got this on the building underneath the stucco and then we stuccoed over the top of it. So we're going to try in the next couple of days to get everybody together and get ready to do the brown coat. I'm going to try to make it as smooth as possible and see how well I can do that and then we'll decide what kind of finish is going to go on depending on how smooth I'm able to make it. Alright, so on to the next step. Okay, so me and Ajo, we've been working on the back side here and trying to smooth it out as much as we can. I don't think we're going to make it Santa Barbara smooth, but we're going to keep going and see if we can make it smooth with our trowels. And uh, we might play around with it a little bit in one small area and try uh, sponge troweling it a little bit just to see what that looks like. But anyway, uh, hats off to those professional guys who can make it super smooth. It's a little harder than it looks. Okay, gang. So, I'm using the sponge trowel and look, it came out a lot more consistent. The problem with uh, just doing a hard trowel is that it's hard to get it consistent. But, with the sponge trowel, we get a little rougher texture. I mean, not really rough. A little rougher, but it will um, it'll smooth it out and make it more consistent. So we're gonna go with the sponge trowel. Okay, so we did the sponge trowel finish, and it came out pretty nice. It evened things up for us. I wanted to do the Santa Barbara smooth finish, but I just couldn't get it consistent. I suppose we could all jump off the high dive for the first time without killing ourselves, but not very many people can do the double flip the first time off the high board. So we went down to the, the, the low board with the sponge trowel, and it came out pretty nice. Uh, let me give you a couple of close-up shots so you can see what it looks like. Right here. Here's the top. And our corners are looking pretty good around my little pillar units. Not too shabby for a first time.
Well, we finished our scratch coat and our brown coat, and it's looking pretty good. So we didn't get the ultra smooth uh, texture that I wanted, the Santa Monica smooth, but we did pretty good. So the, what we're gonna do right now is we're going to wait a couple of weeks for the, the stucco to cure out. After it cures, then we're gonna put the final coat on, uh, which will have the color in it. And uh, we're, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. want to uh, give a special thanks to Kirk Giordano and Giordano Plastering. And really, Kirk's the one who instructed us on how to do this. And yeah, it takes a lot of practice to get it really good. But we had a good time doing it. Uh, I'd also like to thank Matt Reisinger for all of his information on how to uh, prepare the building for stucco and uh, all the tips that he had on there. So what we're going to do at this point is uh, I'm going to close out this video and we'll let the, the building cure for a couple of weeks and then uh, I'll do a quick uh, recap and show you uh, the application of the final color and uh, and and the final results. Until then, this is Steve from the American Garage. Thanks for watching the American Garage. If you like this video, hit the like button and leave your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.